So next on our list were uh, the open redirects or was the open redirects. So far we've covered 28% of the ground here at the Hexplaining and we've gone through SQL injection, XSS, command injection, click jacking, CSRF or CSERF, directory traversal, more XSS, file upload vulnerabilities, which was really interesting. So I would actually highly encourage you to watch those two or three videos and then broken access controls, which is probably one of my favorites to look for in app security assessments and in the pen tests that I'm doing. So now let's actually look into the open redirects. So the same format, first video, the attacks, and in the next video, the prevention and a few questions. So first video offensive, second defensive, or you can also call it first video red, then blue or whatever. So open redirects, most web applications make use of redirects. If your site forwards to URLs is supplied in a query string, you could be enabling phishing attacks. Let's see how you might be helping email scammers. Now, what I want to say here from the top of my head is that I do not intentionally spend a lot of time looking for open redirects when um, when I'm actually doing an app security assessment or a pen test, but whenever I am, whenever I am in a situation where there is some sort of a URL or input that takes a URL from the user, I actually look more for cross-site um, server-side request forgery, so SSRF. That being said, an open redirect is where your application redirects the user to a URL supplied from an untrusted source without checking the validity of that URL. Open redirects are often used in phishing attacks and not only. Attacks where malicious links are sent out in emails in an attempt to trick the user into visiting a harmful site. By sending out a link that points uh, to your website but immediately redirects to a malicious site, attackers can circumvent anti-phishing measures put in place by email providers. It's going to be interesting when we get to the point of um, defending against the open redirect attacks to see how it, or if they implement one measure that I actually keep seeing and you also keep seeing on major providers or big names uh, on the internet. This kind of attack can damage the trust of your, your users having your site since you appear to be the malicious actor. So let's see how it works. Mal is a hacker who has noticed uh, that your site performs a redirect after login. Normally this is a useful feature but your site doesn't check the URL of the redirect location. Okay. Victim is one of your users. Mal wants to trick Vic into going to his malicious website. So what does he do? He's actually crafting a URL featuring a redirect to his malicious website. So you have example.com next. So let's say that you're on the login form at the example.com and then you have a parameter after the URL or the host where next uh, the next parameter is actually pointing out to the next uh, to the website that uh, the redirect happens. To make it less obvious, what he's doing, he encodes the redirect parameter and adds some superfluous parameters to the query string. So in this situation, he's actually doing the encoding over here, and then you also have some parameters that might not influence the attempt to visit this login or might not have influence on the URL, which is probably the case. Now Mel sends this URL to Vic in an email. The link um, is to your website, which is not blacklisted as a malicious site by Vic's email provider, so no alarms go off when the email is scanned. So this is the email I have to use. Um, he was called, so he this dude falls into the um, trap and then he clicks on the link since he isn't currently logged in your website presents him with the login page so after he logs in he's actually going to go let's see if we can 
copy that entire thing, paste it into a notepad, see it better. So you can see the next parameter is here at the end of the URL. So immediately after he logs in, uh, the redirect parameter is processed. The site doesn't do any check on the URL described in the next parameter. So it, there's no checking on uh, the next uh, parameter. So this uh, victim is redirected to the harmful website. So he has been fished. Now in real life, this doesn't actually work exactly or it it's not that people are so gullible these days even though it's quite easy to get uh, tracked but people have learned a lot since since we actually grew up or matured with the internet of course there still are a lot of people who who fall for phishing attacks and who fall for this sort of uh, open redirect vulnerability. Clearly you want to prevent open redirects in your application. Let's see how easy it is to protect your users. And this is actually, so this they say how easy it is to protect your users. This is the subject for the next video.